Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with learning Scratch blocks, making Scratch tutorials, and in this video we are going to try to explain how and when to use Scratch block which is named when loudness or when timer is greater than some value. Okay, let's go to Scratch to see that in action. Click on the events group of blocks, those are the yellow one, <coughs> and find when loudness greater than. Uh, click and drag and drop it to your coding window and uh, we can see already that there are, if I click on it, nothing happens. Why? Because we don't know what this loudness means uh, what is it it's one of i think uh, yeah sensing blocks and uh, we haven't learned that yet but we have learned this second one if you click on this drop down menu and click on timer you can see it changes to second choice timer and we have learned that in previous lesson what timer is it's again one of the sensing blocks the built-in variable which shows how much how many seconds are passed from start of our game and when you click and reset your game when you start it again uh, when you sorry when you start your game again with green flag uh, timer resets to zero and goes again so it uh, shows seconds it uh, grows from one sec from zero to one, two, three seconds, and so on. And it's it also shows decimal points. We have learned that before. Uh, we will show in some of the next videos how to show uh, only integers, not real numbers, not decimal points. But that's another topic. Let's uh, now concentrate on this new block. And even if I stop the game, you can see that how timer still goes on, so it doesn't care. We have to reset it somehow. Uh, we will do that in next videos, but for now let's see what this block does when timer goes greater than. Okay, we said timer is for counting time, for measuring time in seconds, so this value here 10 represents seconds 10 seconds so when timer is greater than 10 seconds do something so when this timer value goes greater than 10 we will do something scratch will do something okay what i will uh maybe okay let's try why is isn't this stopping here i don't have an idea okay now it's working maybe it's because my internet is lagging but who knows okay so i can go uh, like this endlessly i can go from first stage to second from first level to second level to third fourth fifth sixth level and so on so i can go in loop now again first and so on but what for example what if your game was uh, uh, dependent on some kind of time, some kind of timer. So, for example, if you have some uh, concrete, e uh, exact amount of time to finish your game or some kind of quest or task. So, for example, if your game is working like, okay, if you don't finish your game in 10 minutes, game is over. Simple as that. We will use 10 seconds just because it's shorter to check out but you can use 10 minutes here also you all, only you you only have to multiply this in seconds with uh, to make it in minutes we'll show that later but for now let's say like this if the timer goes over 10 seconds stop the game we have learned earlier how to stop the game with one of control blocks it's stop all so what will happen now this block this script will activate only when timer goes over 10 or 10 seconds 
When I start the game, it resets to zero. It will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when it goes over ten, eleven, or ten point zero zero one, I don't know, whatever. But over ten, it will stop all game. So the cat won't be able to move to the next level. Simple as that. Let's stop the game. Let's start it again. It goes from zero to. 3, 4, let me see if I can go into third level, it's almost finished, yeah, so let me wait a little bit here, you, you saw how it blinked, this here block blinked, and it's, the game is stopped in terms of I can move the cat but I cannot go to the next level, I don't know if I can click on this girl, yeah, that's because uh, those blocks with clicking and moving work differently but uh, the most important part is that I cannot go to the next level so simple as that you don't have to put this block only stop all you can put some other kind of event or control or like I don't know wait or repeat something or whatever you sorry whatever you need as simple as that so this simple uh scratch block when timer goes over some value you can use it in uh, any kind of way you like i have uh, i showed only how to stop it, stop the game with it but you can do something else for example you can uh, make your game give some kind of points if uh, for example, if your um, game is some kind of survival game, shooter, zombie shooter game, so if you survive more than 100 seconds, 1000 seconds, give uh, uh, broadcast some message, uh, you have uh, uh, won some 100 points or achieved something and so on. So you can do whatever you want with it. And in our case, we have used it to stop our game. Okay, that's it for this lesson, very very short one, and I don't, I think we don't uh, need anything else here for this lesson or polishing our game so far, so we will stop it here, one short, very short lesson for a change. That's it for this lesson, keep on learning, keep on scratching, and I hope I will see you in next videos too, bye for now.